Good morning, campus, and welcome back. I'm so excited to see you guys. Come to, you're coming to class all ready and prepared to learn. Okay, today we're gonna talk about order of events and informational text. If you remember, the other day we did some text structures and we talked about sequential. Okay, this is, this is basically what it is. This is a text structure, the sequential text structure. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. Do you have your journals? Make sure you open it up to today's date. To understand a series of events, ideas, or steps, you have to think about the order in which things happen. And that's a text structure called sequential, okay? When reading a book, look for words that show time such as, show words such as, these are some of your buzzwords. Next, that's next, look for your buzzword next. Later, after, just to so that you can see a few of them, already and then. Okay, so we're gonna do a small ex short exercise here. I want you to listen to the, to the paragraph very, very carefully because I want you to tell me within the paragraph the events that took place in order. First, the beginning, middle, and end. Or first, what, what happened first, what happened second, and what happened last. Okay. Many flowering plants use insects to help them reproduce. These plants attract insects with brightly colored flowers and sweet smelling nectar. When insects visit a plant to drink nectar, some of the plant's pollen rubs off on the insect. The insect then leaves to visit another plant. When the insect visits the next plant, the pollen from the last plant can brush off. If that pollen reaches a plant stigma, then the plant can reproduce. Okay, what's happening here with the insects? First, next, and then. Okay, those are some of your buzzwords. First, for sequencing next and then. Okay, so I have, we're gonna arrange these in order. I have the pollen rubs off the insects. The insect spreads the pollen. The insect is attracted to the pollen. So what happened first in that story, in this article here? Many flowering plants use insects to help them reproduce. And if you notice, I like to use the strategy of rereading because rereading helps you to understand something that you didn't understand previously. These plants attract insects with brightly colored flowers and sweet smelling nectar. Okay, so that's the first thing that happened. The insect is attracted to a plant. So I'm gonna put that first, that's the order here. I'm gonna put number one up here. Okay, now when an insect visits a plant to drink nectar, some of the plant's pollen rubs off on the insect. The insect then leaves to visit another plant. When the insects visit the next plant, the pollen from the last plant can brush off. Okay, let's stop right there. So, the pollen rubs off on the insect. That's the next. And then finally, what happened then? We have first, next, and then. The insect spreads the pollen. Okay, boys and girls, so what we just did there, looking at our text structure, sequential, we arranged the, the events that took place in this, this topic here in order. The insects were attracted to the plant, the pollen rubs off the insect, and the insect spreads the pollen. Thank you, boys and girls. Remember that you have to believe in yourself. There's nothing that you can't achieve. Stay safe and see you tomorrow.